Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In this episode, we're going to be covering load sharing two parallel transformers. This time, we know both the currents from each transformer. However, we only know one of the impedances and we're asking to find the other. So, if I1 equals 550 amps, I2 equals 350 amps, and our impedance of transformer 2 equals 7.26%, Find the impedance of transformer 1, assuming A1 equals A2, or assuming that both winding ratios are equal for each transformer. So let's begin. We know that at this point right here, IL is going to equal I1 plus I2. We can use Ohm's law to say current is equal to voltage over impedance. And since the turns ratio are equal, our V1 is going to equal to V2, or simply put, both will equal V. So we plug that into our equation. We can say that our load current is going to equal to V over Z1 plus V over Z2. We can clean this up. It should be our load current equals V times Z1 plus Z2 over Z1 times Z2. Now the next thing is, since we don't know our load current, we need to find a way to set both of our impedances equal to each other using I1 and I2, since that's what we know. Now there's a couple different ways to do this, but by far the easiest way is as follows. We can rewrite this to be two slightly different equations. The first is IL equals I1 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z2 and IL equals I2 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z1. Now we can set these two right here equal to each other since they're the same equation and we can thereby eliminate our IL, which we don't currently know. So we set these two equal to each other, and we have I1, Z1 plus Z2 over Z2 equals I2 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z1. And since here we're solving for Z1, we're going to set this equal to Z1, and we're going to have Z1 equals I2 times Z1 plus Z2 over I1, Z1 plus Z2 times Z2. Of course, these two terms here we can eliminate, and we have Z1 is going to be equal to I2 over I1 times Z2. So let's plug in our values. We have Z2 equals 350 amps over 550 amps times, let's use the ratio, sorry, let's use the decimal value of the impedance. 0 0.0726 and we do the math and we come up with 0 0.0462 or our impedance for transformer 1 is 4.62 percent and of course we come up with our percent value by multiplying our decimal by 100 Okay, so we found Z1. Now let's try it a different way. What if instead of giving I1 and I2, we were actually given I2 and a load current of IL equals 900 amps, which I found, of course, by just adding the two load currents. So let's pretend like we don't know I1. And instead of having been given Z2, Let's find Z2 using Z1. 
That way we can check our work. So we start back right here, which is our most basic parallel transformer load sharing equation. And we can say that IL equals I2 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z1. And we can plug in our values after solving for Z2. So let's go ahead and solve for Z2. We can say that IL equals I2 Z1 plus I2 Z2 over Z1. We can move Z1 to the other side to have Z1 IL equals I2 Z1 plus I2 Z2. We can simplify this as Z1 IL over I2 equals Z1 plus Z2. And since this time around we're going to solve for I2 given IZ, we're going to set it equal to IZ, we're going to set it equal to Z2 so that Z2 equals Z1 IL over I2 minus Z1. So let's plug in our values. Z1 we know is 0, 0.0462 times our load current of 900 amps divided by a current contribution from transformer 2 which is 350 amps minus Z1 again, 0 0.0462. So let's do the math. And we come up with 0 0.0726, or multiply that by 100 to get the percent. Z2 equals 7.26%, which of course we know is correct. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.